Once we've actually got our info point and uploaded content, we may well want to customize the menu. Customizing the menu is the same on info point as it is on any Drupal site. You need to make sure that you're logged in. Scroll down until you find the administration menu. Click on administration. Uh, click on structure because menus are part of the structure of the website. Uh, we've got various items here and towards the bottom we have menus. We click on menus. Now on most info point systems the main menu is the one where you display most of your content so we're going to list all the links on the main menu and indeed we can see we've got frogs in the pond at the uh, at the top which we created in our previous explanatory video and we have some content which is our standard demo content and we want to remove that you can go and delete it but we actually reckon it's usually better to disable it because if you just uncheck and disable it uh, if you ever run into any problems and you want to refer back to the content to see how it was actually done it still remains available for you to uh, to use and so what I've done now I've disabled all the content except our frogs in the pond and our home page and I'm going to save the configuration nothing ever uh, is um, actually executed until you've saved and the final thing I want to do I want to put home at the top so I simply just pick up and drag the item a little warning appears changes made in this table will not be saved until the form is submitted that means save so always remember save so click on save and we should be there in a few moments time we've saved and if we now go to our home page again we can see we have just the two menus and if we finally log out we can see what our visitors see we've now got our info point customized with our own content um, so let's go and have a look at the font and that's it